shit, yeah, they bread stank. Walk up in the club, dripping like I'm fresh paint. I can shoot through the facade like an. What's going on, fight fans? It's another great day when you love MMA. Welcome back to Mad Maddie Fight Talk. Bellator 287 is upon us. It is going down October 29th, which is a Saturday in Milan, Italy at the Alliance Cloud Arena. I cannot wait for this fight card. Bellator always has action packed fights, always has an action packed fight card. And honestly, it never, it never fails to impress me with the fighters that they have on there. So this fight card is going down October 29th. Mark your calendars. 4 p.m. Eastern, 1 p.m. Pacific, and they use the platform Showtime if you guys are trying to purchase this bad boy. And according to the website, we're 20 days, 23 hours, and 43 minutes away from this fight as of me making this video. So for this fight card, the main event is going down in the lightweight division. It's going to be between Adam Piccolotti versus Mansoor Barnui. This is going to be a good fight, guys. Adam Piccolotti, 13 and 4, two KOs with six submissions. He's 33 years young, and he will be taking on the 19 and 4, 6 KO, 12 submission, Mansoor Banuri. Seven fight win streak for Mansoor, making his Bellator debut. He has 10 first round finishes. Look, this guy's had an impressive career already. He had six title fights before he's even entered Bellator. He's 4 and 2 in those title fights, and he's already had fights against guys like Islam Makachev, who is fighting for the lightweight belt uh, in, in the UFC. And he's also had fights against guys like Mateus Gamrock. This guy has been taking on top tier competition since he was a young man. Now, granted, those fights were a long time ago, but you see where his opponents are at now. So that just shows you what level this guy's on. He's really, really nasty in the clinch, has really nice knees, elbows. He has some solid striking and he has some vicious ground game. I mean, to be going up against a guy and only losing by decision to Islam in a fight where I thought I could have gone either way. If you guys go back and watch it, it was a long time ago, granted, so both of these guys were young, but it was a good fight, and it's high-level competition that this guy's been facing. Now, Piccolotti, on the other hand, he's 3-2 and two in his last five, 9-4 and four in Bellator fights, trains out of AKA, so you know this guy's coming out of a solid, solid gym, but the thing about this guy, and, and honestly, this is going to kind of give you an idea of who I'm going for in this fight, he has losses to Sidney Outlaw, Benson Henderson, and uh, Godi Yamauchi, who are all high-level competition. I mean, these guys are no joke. But to me, it looks like he kind of folds under the pressure of these bigger fights. Now, Piccolotti's no joke. This guy has some solid ground game. He has really good striking as well. But as far as the stand-up game goes, I think Mansoor is definitely going to dominate in that. And when it does hit the ground, uh, Mansoor's got 12 submissions himself. So this guy has finished 18 of his 19 wins. Very dangerous. 10 first-round finishes. I mean, the guy is an executioner out there. I think Adam Piccolotti's going to have his hands full. I think Mansoor Barnou is going to get the W and he's going to win. I'm going to say he's going to finish the fight in the second round with a submission because I have a feeling that the stand-up of Mansoor is going to be too much for Piccolotti in the beginning and then Adam's going to try and take this fight to the ground and it's not going to fare well for him. I think that Mansoor has the experience and he's a future contender. So I definitely got him winning this fight. Now the co-main event on this fight card is going to be Fabian Edwards taking on Charlie Ward, UK versus Ireland. Fabian, if you guys don't know, he's the brother to Leon Edwards, who is currently the welterweight champion in the UFC. Charlie Ward is 41 years old, 5'10". He's 10 and 4 with 6 KOs. He's 4 and 1 in his last 5, and he's 7 and 1 in Bellator. His first four Bellator wins were by KO. So Charlie Ward, although he's an older man, he gets in there and he gets those hands going and he's going for the kill. So it's going to be a tough fight for Fabian. Now, like I said, Ward's 41, Fabian's 29, and I think the youth thing, to me, plays a factor. He's 6'1", 185, so he's going down the middle weight. Uh, Fabian Edwards is 10-2 and two right now, four kills, three submissions. So seven of your 10 wins are coming by way of finish, and, and it's pretty diverse. You know, he has the ground, he has the, the stand-up, but he is 3-2 and two in his last five. He last defeated Lyoto Machida by first-round KO, if you guys didn't see that. Pretty, I mean, he's fighting an older Lyoto Machida, but regardless, that's a that's a household name who's, you know, well-experienced, has a, a ton of, who's a well-experienced opponent who has a, a great resume and he's a former champion. Fabian is 5-2 and two in Bellator right now. Now, this fight to me is going to probably end up, could potentially be fight of the night. Charlie Ward, for being 41, he's a freaking banger. He goes out there and tries to shut the lights out. So I respect that. And you got to remember, his first four Bellator fights were wins by knockout. He's 7-1 in Bellator. It's a solid record. 
But I think Fabian training with his brother Leon, watching his brother have that come from behind victory over Kamaru Usman, those things inspire you. This guy's a young man. Charlie Ward, you know, I don't know how much damage that guy's taken, but to me, age plays a factor. This is a young man's sport. If you train your whole life, yeah, you're going to have muscle memory, but you're not going to be the same quickness, the same vicious knockout power. I got Fabian Edwards winning this fight, but I think it's going to be a slugfest. And I think Fabian's going to win by a three-round decision. I think these guys are going to go to war, and they're going to take a lot of damage on both sides. People, both sides are going to land nasty shots. I just think Fabian Edwards, after seeing his brother have success like that, He's definitely going to want to bring it, and I think he's going to get the W. So I got Fabian Edwards winning this fight. Moving further down the fight card, we got Saul Rogers fighting out of England, taking on Tim Wilde, fighting out of the UK. Now, Saul Rogers, 32 years young. The guy's 5'9", 155, coming in with a record of 15-4. and four. He has one KO and nine submissions. Now, Saul was 3-2 in his last five fights, but he does have nine first-round wins all by way of submission. So, Saul is one of those guys, man. He's nasty on the ground, very, very technical. It's going to be interesting to see how this fight plays out. Now, Tim Wilde, on the other hand, he's 35 years old, 5'10", 155. These guys are going down the lightweight. He comes in with a record of 14-4. and four. Now, six KOs and one submission. He's 3-1-1 one one in his last five fights. Seven of those wins are by way of decision. Has two losses by submission. So to me, losses for these guys, they're not a big number, right? He has four losses. Two of them are by submission. Now, Saul Rogers has nine submission victories, and nine of those victories are in the first round. If Saul basically can get this fight to the ground early, if, if he can withstand the stand-up game and out-grapple Wild, I think he can get the job done early in the fight. I don't think it's going to happen that quick. I think he's going to get a second round submission. So I got Saul Rogers out of England winning this fight via second round submission. Lock it in. Check me out. And then further down the fight card, we got Justin Gonzalez fighting out of the USA, 31 years old, taking on Andrew Fisher fighting out of England, 37 years old. Now, Justin Gonzalez, 5'9". They're going down to the, uh, the featherweight division, so 145. He's 13 and 1. Four kills and one submission. He's 4-1 and one in his last five. And his only loss is to Aaron Pico. So that's a, that's a really high-level competitor to be losing to. So you don't get too much knock for that. Regardless, Justin Gonzalez comes in with a solid record, solid resume. He's going to be taking on Andrew Fisher, 5'9", 145. They're going on at the featherweight. He has a record of 19-8-1. and one. And he also has six kills and nine submissions. So that, to me, I like, I like the diversity when I look at these records of how much KOs finishes they have and how much submission finishes they have. Because to me, that shows that they're well, well rounded, that they're not just banking on one big thing. You know, Justin, he's a dog. He gets in there and he fights real hard. So I do, I do like him. I like the way he has, uh, the way he strikes. I definitely think he has the power to win this fight, but Andrew Fisher, you know, he has the experience. He's four Oh and one in his last five fights. Justin's been in a lot of close fights, a lot of, razor sharp decision victories i think the one against kai kamaka was very close but i'm gonna take andrew fisher in this fight i like the experience and i like the diversity of his of how he finishes fights he, he can knock you out he can tap you out i think if it turns into a clinch slash grappling match andrew fisher might actually have the edge in that so i think he's gonna get the job done and i think it's gonna be a three-round decision because Gonzalez is tough, man, and he and he has great stand-up. So I think if these guys go at it, I just think Fisher's going to do a little bit more throughout the fight to win. So I got Fisher winning a three-round decision. Like always, guys, thanks for checking out my video. Don't forget, lock it in October 29th, going down to Milan, Italy, Bellator 287 on Showtime. Hit me in the comments. Let me know who you guys have winning in this fight card. Tap the bell icon to be notified when I drop more content. Like my video, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Hey, this talking shit, yeah, they bread stank. Walk up in the club, dripping like I'm fresh paint. I could see through the facade like an